Hi everybody, this is Seppi Brody. Um, I'm here working on some old skins um, that I'm converting to a different format. And my, excuse me here, I'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to take off this neck blender here real quick, show you how bad it was a second ago. I haven't, we're on the fly here, I haven't tried doing this yet. This is my old, old Greg avatar, and I mean it's got some really bad seams, but this was made in like, oh god, I don't even know what year, so we're working on it a little bit, but the neck, by far the worst problem, I mean, in some opinions, uh, so, uh, when I was looking for a tentable neck blender, I found some on Marketplace and everybody was complaining that uh, I needed a tutorial for how to operate the neck blender. So um, there's one on Marketplace, uh, let's see, I still have it up, um, this one by Pandarchi. Um, it's uh, lots of options in here, uh, shapes of, you know, uh, different shapes on the neck, and then you can tint them. But people were having trouble understanding how, and that's what I'm going to address right here now. I have on an Izzy one, Izzy's one, and I'm put the white one on because that's the tintable one. The rest of these are flesh tone, you know, different flesh tones. So I'm going to add it back on me, and then... We're going to go into a special happy setting here, and I will show you. It's up in the up in the developer menu. You would turn on your advanced settings um, in your uh, developer sheet. This one that says show developer menu, you need that in order for this to show up. Once you get that, Go into show info and go down to color under cursor. And this is going to start a crazy thing down here in this other corner. Hang on. Whoa, let me take this off. And you'll have to forgive me. I put a lot of things down in the bottom corner. There is. You see how I'm on a white background and you know I'm a work studio here and that is not and those numbers are white. So you would never see them unless I get up against something. Let's get up against this wall real quick here. Oh, oh the concept was there. It could fly up and show ya. Yeah, I think we should just as a prim closer to me or something. I'm gonna turn around. Yeah, that. There we go. Now you only need this for a second, so I guess we're not gonna fight about it. You get your part, the spot you want to sample. I don't know whether to sample the body or the head. Um, kind of both. And we'll try both, see how it goes. You want to right click it in your inventory if you have it on and say edit, which brings up. Your editing menu here. We're gonna go for this one. This is color tinter. We're gonna need that in a minute. You could sit there and just stab around at at different greens. I mean, I tried this a while ago. It, it kind of it's gonna be hard to get it just right. Some around in here was close, but it's still off. You see, you can see. And dark didn't look bad. It kind of looked like I had a shadow under my chin, but. I don't think this is the exact green, greenish blue that I need. So, 
what we're going to do is right up on here maybe if I take off the neck fade first take it off we're gonna get in here and get a good sample of green uh, we say maybe that green or this green uh, Mm, somewhere around in there. You want to write down these things in the corner. The RGB, do you see them down here? They will change if you move your mouse. So you want to be in a pose stand, so you're holding still, or that's going to keep fluctuating. I'm flying so that you can see the, color, the corner. So we're going to write this down. I got R's, 16, that's about steady all the time. G forty forty one B round thirty five it's a, a zero. So we're just gonna put these in here. Well after we get our we're gonna put the neck blend back on. We're still editing it. Right? Now we just punch these numbers in here. Red is the R. I think it's like 16. G, uh, 40. Blue, round 35. Okay. Then, I mean, that's the right color. It's just dark. So I'm going up to about here. I think that's just almost perfect. Maybe we want to go lighter. Yeah, that's good. You don't want. All right, we're gonna stick with this one. You say okay, and then you want to save it. Um, yeah, save. It. Give it a second, and there it is. Neck Blender One Hundred One. Pretty good. Or you could go with a darker tone to match the face. It was, you know, kind of all over the place between the two items. So that's up to you personally what you want to do with it. And that is how you use RGB to configure a tentable neck blender. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.